cut that picture where, um, put the bow on the Put the press down and mat on it. that Betty. It's a somewhat normal girl that hates her life. This year, Kathy Stockton, she never comes face to face with. It changes her life. Forever! Bada bing, bada boom. So we're allowed when I walk into the room. <laughs> yeah. Done. Okay, so this has to be But I'm gonna do it in there. I'm gonna do it in Okay. I woke at 10. I awoke. I awoke because we're in the British time. I awoke at 10.43 this morning feeling like shit. And I'm not in one person. So wait. I dragged myself out of bed and threw on some shorts and a Super Mario t-shirt. Then walked out of my room putting up my long black hair into a pretty tail. I think the senior just sound like Jamie before because black hair. No? No? Hey Tyler! I greeted my one-year-old brother as he ran up to me to make a hug, sadly, to get little gibberish that only he could understand. Good morning, Josh. I glanced at my step- uh, I can't read. I glanced at my stepfather, who was in the living room watching football. I loved him as my own dad because he's a nice guy and he cares about my mom and loves her with all his heart since she was at work at the moment. I hate my real dad who lives across the whole country in Washington State with his stupid ass fiance Violet. I hate him so much that I want him dead for how much police cars mom and I You are definitely gonna be best with your friends. I went to the kitchen, see my white trap, eat, eat. Can't think! I went into the kitchen to see my white Sleeping on the deep freeze. Hey, Buzz. How are you, big boy? No sexual comment. <laughs> I rubbed his. I rubbed his fluffy chest and he purred. I looked out the window and. Screeched from the kitchen all the way to the dining and oh oh it's a stretch that stretch from the kitchen all the way to the dining dining room with a long dip. I saw a thing. Oh god, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think I mm -hmm. I saw a strange figure in the forest that stretched all the way all around our trailer house. I ignored it and got confused. When I was done, I went back to my room and sat on my desk with my iPod cut second generation, which, which sucks and you're not easy. Just the killer, I said, as I just stand. Why are you looking at Jeff the Killer? When you're gonna meet him? <laughs> I had no idea who this guy is or he existed until my friend. I think it's Spanish name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I cannot read it. Ali John Kila told me about him and I wanted to know more. Apparently, he was something called a creepy pasta. Really, the only creepy pasta I knew before anything was the first one. And I wasn't, I wasn't all terrified of him, even though the first time I heard of him was when I was 10. This was when I heard of him when I was 5. And I wasn't scared because we all know, if I see a man with tentacles, and no face in a suit and tie, I'll be like, 
Hi, Mr. Octopus. Are you going on a business trip? Honestly. Jeff the killer was first to go with his brother Lee. And parents when he was attacked and set on fire. From there on, he cut his mouth into a spiral, burned his eyelids off, and killed his family. Is all I know from other than he is said to be 18 now. Wow. It's all just like, like on YouTube. Or fucking searching it in the web. Like. That's cool. I was to myself as I learned about more creepy topics like Sam Brown, Smile, Dog, The Rank, and more. I don't know any of those, but okay. Then when. And then when I knew it, it was 5.26 p.m. And Mom has been home since 2.30. I ran out. Hold on. How many? Six minutes. It'll give me minutes. I don't have a long time in here, I'm going to make sure. We ran out of my room just to my mom on the couch because I had a lot of chicken on him. His laughter was so adorable. I came to sit next to him, next to mom, and started playing along with the child. Mom got a call from my dad, and he was hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Danielle. I forgot. I'll send it to you. I promise. You better, yeah, sorry, bitch. My chest blowed up with hatred and my mom started to cry. Stop crying, you poor and send it all. Oh, I brought Maddie a free ticket to come live with me. And she is leaving in five days, so you better have her packed up in that plane or I will have to put you in jail for keeping my child from me. She hung up. Hell no! I screamed as my mom cried hardy, harder. I'm so sorry, Maddie. I owe your father money and no! Fuck him! Don't send him anything! I'm not le I'm not leaving you, I hunt her. I want to t I want to talk to him. Mama handed me her phone and called him. So fuck you want. She said, excuse me? Excuse me? I don't even treat mama with respect, asshole, I said that. Maddie? said with excitement. Are you happy about coming to stay with me after four years? I'll be like, this is you coming by. I ain't living with you at all. Hey, coming. Hey, guys. First morning, I'm, and I'm very new. Okay, so check the key. Hold on. Hey, baby. I probably won't be able to get this up to keep that all good. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry I got stuck on this late stuff with mine. His name is Josh, not Brian. Okay. Hell no! I ain't, I am not going with you. I'm staying here where I am. I fucking hate you. I growled into the phone. But I love you and you're coming with me. If you like it or not, you, I hung up on him. Like, you, I'll be like, if I do go to the it, and if he hits me because I get mad at him, I call him child abuse up in this house because that's what I would do. It's okay, mama. I tried to be her. Just then, Josh came in. What happened? My dumbass fucker. I wish it had to calm mom down. Brian had mama go pick a knife from
Brian had ma Mama go take a nice long nap as he was going to take Tyler to the store, so I was technically going to be alone. Bye, I said as Josh. I said as Josh drove away. Well, these books need to preview their story. Later on, it was Kiddo seeing him the stairs and from Josh. Look, all with Tyler. Fuck, it's late. Where's Brian? I thought out loud, laying on my bed, facing the wall. Back as far as I was asleep, when I heard my door open. Brian, I just don't know what he said. What? Oh, look, it's him. I was afraid, but only for a few seconds, then I was curious to tell my closet door and start to close. It was open a few seconds ago, I thought to myself. I stayed on my bed and watched the door, I waited for something to happen. Then Brian and Tyler came back. I was happy to go home and set my eyes on the door. No! Someone like Tyler, but my name said my name, but he thrust it inside him and gave me a hug. I hugged him back and set my eyes on the door. Get out of my room, Tyler. So he did, and go to the door. Come out, you bastard! I know you're in there. I said to my surprise. The closet door opened slightly on my head, and I saw a pocket knife on my desk. And it up. I was I walked slowly to my closet. I just put a hand on the bed and swung it open. The man in a white hoodie was there and turned at me with his knife. I jumped back and forth around my room and dodged every place he took at me. Go to Celine! He finally said as he threw the knife on me and pulled me to the wall by my face. I put his knife out, put it in the wall with his pocket knife. Jack and Duck killer. I said as I looked at the face that wasn't covered by his black hair or his hair. I only learned about him today when he was to creep into my house like that. I only learned about him today and he was to creep into my house like that? These three days are like forever in silence when I put it. Why did you use the wind? I remember my window was stuck to shut it. It closed when it did. Jeff laughed easily and sounded annoyed. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Just give me my knife. He snatched it. He snatched at it. I kicked it in the chair of my desk. Foolish girl. Did your daddy ever teach you not to take weapons from a killer like me? I gave him his knife and said, Kill me! I yelled. What? Aren't you scared? Fuck no! Why do you think I gave you my knife? Your knife back! He looked at me long and hard. Just make me go to sleep or whatever. I don't need this blackmail shit from my father. Just hesitated and tried to think of it. He broke it open and got out. I think about it. He, then he ran into the night. Is it he a killer? Is it he supposed to kill people? Do they think it's taking it or not? It was happy to be so. Oh, it's 20 minutes. Okay.